are going to start with a dynamic yoga hello today. So we'll just find a seat to begin with. And the seat is well up. We don't use that for now. I want to stand up really nice and tall. So we're feeling like the breast bone is lifting to the ceiling and the shoulder blades are drawing down the back. And we'll just take three full breaths to begin with. So you can close down your eyes. Allow your eyes to be soft, your mouth to be at ease. And we'll find three full breaths, the breaths that fill all the way into the backs of your lungs, the lungs are spreading from side to side, up and down, front to back. Three dimensional breaths. Deep exhalation, the belly button pulls back to the spine. And then again, a deep inhalation, full breath in, 360 degree expansion from the inside out. If you know the sound of the Ujjayi breath, we're counting that here. Last one, a deep exhale. Your neck rolls side to side, just starting to loosen up there. And then dropping your chin down towards your chest, interlacing your fingers behind the back of your head. Fill the chin in, and as you inhale, we'll lift, press your head into your hands. Elbows are wide, and the chest lifts. And then as you exhale, curl around your spine, chin to lift chest. Inhale, press into your sits bones. Lifting up. If this is challenging, sit on something like a block or a pillow just to create a little bit more lift in the spine and then exhale, curl around. Last one, breath in, leaning back and open, press your head into your hands, elbows wide, chest is lifting, gaze is up, final breath in. And then a deep breath out, let's release your hands to the sides. You'll turn yourself to face forward. And then from here, take your fingertips, flip the thumbs back, just the toes will come to the floor. So we'll start with a little bit of core work just to warm everything up. So the toes come back to come down, the heels lift, the knees squeeze, and we'll spend the first few breaths lifting through the chest. And all I want you to do is exhale and squeeze your knees together and feel your low belly pull back and into the spine. So the lower abdominals are switching on. Okay, and then we'll keep everything lifted and all you're doing is sliding your toes back towards you. So you'll feel the hip flexors, the deep belly start to switch on there. And they come forward and exhale to squeeze the knees in. It's a tiny movement. Last round, in. And final one, exhaling, squeezing your knees in. Okay, and then coming down onto your back into a low boat. Okay, so pressing your low back into the floor, the legs are long. And then as you exhale, you'll draw your left knee in towards your nose and bring your forehead up to your knee. Okay, if you're up leveling here, the arms will come up and overhead. And then switching sides. Right knee in, maybe up and overhead. Okay, and then exhale, left knee in, lifting up. Last round. Holding there for three. Roll over two. And then lift the right leg to the Feeling interlace your fingers behind the right leg, and we'll just start to roll out through the right ankle. So if you're feeling more tight here, you're bringing your hands to the upper hamstring. And if you're feeling a little bit more open, you're interlacing your fingers around your ankle. So huge circles with the right foot. Now the left foot can also be on the floor, so it might feel like too much for you to have both legs straight. Let's move the right leg from side to side, giving us some dynamic movement there through the back of your leg. We'll find a final exhale, pulling that right leg back towards you. And then drawing both knees in towards your chest. So you're a little tiny ball. I want you to bring your forehead up to your knees. Reach your arms forward. And we're just holding here for this round for five. So you're like a little tiny ball. You're reaching your arms forward, your forehead is touching your knees and the heels are into the bum. And all I want you to do with exhale is squeeze your knees in more. You're just exhaling, squeezing the knees in more. Exhale, squeeze. Good. So you can stay here or any amount, you're bringing your arms towards the back of the room, but keeping the chest touching your thighs. Final exhale. This time 
then left leg lifts to the ceiling, right foot is to the floor, or long. Let's roll out those left toes, wagging the left leg in space from side to side, and then feeling some nice stretching through the hamstring. Alright, so final breath in there. And an exhale pointing at your foot, so it's a point and a flex at the same time, which will make your toes flare. It's a very yogi position of the foot, activating all the way down to the tips of the toes. And then let's drop those knees into your chest. We'll start to rock and roll in the length of, of the spine here. So rolling forward and back. And we'll build up so much momentum that we rock straight into a forward fold. So rock it back, inhale, exhale, heels to the floor, folding in. All right, so leaning from side to side, bend your knees a lot. Let's interlace your fingers behind your back and then take your clasped hands overhead. So clasped hands overhead, breathing here, squeezing the shoulder blades, shaking up your head. And as you exhale, let's release the hands down to the floor. We're going to start with a variation of Surya Namaskar B like we've been practicing the last couple days. So push your heels down with a flat back. Inhale, come all the way up. Press the palms together. Reach your hands forward and sit down into the lowest Utkatasana you can imagine. Or So here is the lowest you could go, right? But you might be here. I want you to squeeze the arm. You're wrapping your triceps down and you're pressing the inner arms and the inner legs towards the midline. Final exhale, full exhale behind the belly, place the hands down, sweep your feet back, high plank to low plank. Fingertips outside of the mat, we'll inhale, lift to the left, drop the right shoulder down, have a big look over the left shoulder, and then forehead down, we'll go side to side, inhale, lift, twist, look right, exhale, forehead down. Inhale, lift, twist left, exhale, forehead down. So really nice thoracic opener this one. Last round, inhale, we're twisting, looking right, and then exhale, forehead down. Let's tuck the toes, inhale, use strength, press to plank pose, and exhale back to downward facing dog, pressing the chest back towards the thighs. The right leg will reach back behind you, rise high up onto your left toes. Exhale, right knee, just stay in down dog, comes in towards your chest, but you're staying in downward facing dog. So you're a little tiny package, you can even use your thigh to pull your ribs in. And then like you're stretching a rubber band back with this right leg, stretch the right foot back behind you. And then exhale, curl, knee in towards chest, this time, Draw it in towards your nose as you come towards plank pose. Push the floor away. Inhale, stretch it all the way back. This time for the change, we'll place the right foot between your hands. So draw the right knee to the ribs, into the nose. Place the heel and the toe in between your hands. First round, left knee comes down. We inhale and open the chest. Exhale, pull your weight back. Flex right foot back to the body. So inhale, Push into the back leg, you lift and open if you're up leveling, back leg long. Exhale and fold. Two more, inhale. Opening up, exhale, folding back. Inhale. Good, hold here, place the hands down, lift the hips, left toes to left wrist. You're not touching your foot on the floor. Hold for three. Wait in your left hand. Lift it up even higher, hold for two. And exhale, release. Feet together if possible, otherwise you can lift this with the part of spine to half lift in. Exhale, fold. Flat back, use the back chain of the body as the arms reach up, hips press forward, palms touch. Exhale, keep the hands together as you sit down into the lowest little chair you can manage. Exhale, hands come down to the floor. Inhale, half lift, press into the palms, high plank, this time just straight to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, cobra. Exhale, roll back over the toes, down dog, left leg lifts, inhale. 
Stay in down dog, left knee into chest. So pull everything in nice and tight, your little tiny package. Keep your ribs hugging in, keep the tailbone lengthening towards the right heel as you stretch left leg back. Rise up onto right toes, left knee towards the ribs, keep it touching your belly as you come forward. Forehead touches your knee, left heel pulls into your butt. Inhale all the way back. This time for the change. Take it slow. Push the floor away. Create space as you push off the shoulder blades, heel, and then toe inside your hands. Inhale, heart opens. First one, right knee down, full back, half Hanumanasana, half forward fold. If you're up leveling, tap the right toes, lift back knee, heart lifts. Inhale. Exhale, right knee bends and fold. Inhale. It's like a wave within the spine, right? So it's really liquidy. Inhale. Hold here. And then for this transition, push into the floor. Lengthen out the right leg, right foot towards right wrist. See if you can keep your right foot off the floor. Hold there, three. Lift for two. You want to bring your ears inside of your biceps. Push the floor away. Exhale, right foot comes down to meet left. Half lift, inhale. Exhale and pull down. Push into your heels. Inhale, flat back, arms overhead. Last one like this. Take the palms forward, sit down low. Okay, hold there, five. Squeeze the palms, squeeze your knees for two. Hands to the floor. Rise up onto your toes. Knees into the backs of your arms for Vakasana or Vakasana prep. So if you're coming into the arm balance, you're shifting your weight forward into your fingertips. The heels come into your back. There's a sense of squeezing the elbows and your knees to the midline. Hug the belly in. And then pop or walk back. Plank. Moving through our vinyasa. And back we come to downward facing dog. So chest presses back towards your thighs. Right leg lifts to the ceiling. Back in. Exhale, right knee towards your nose. Come out to plank pose. Inhale, take it back. This time we'll cross the body. So right knee, upper left arm. Roll into the inside of your left foot. Right foot to the outside of your left hand. It's called fallen triangle. Left arm comes up and over. You will lift the whole right side of your body to the ceiling. Push the floor away. Have a look at the top left hand. Big breath in. Exhale, left hand down, right foot on top of left side plank pose, right hand comes back by your feet and overhead. If you're modifying, bring your left knee down. If you're up leveling, lift your right leg off of your left and hold for three. Good for two. Right hand down, back we go, down dog. Roll forward into plank pose, inhale. Exhale, vinyasa chakadanga. Drop dog. And back to down dog. Last little bit here, left leg lifts. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, stretch the left leg all the way back. Exhale, keep it close to your body as you roll to the inside of your right foot. Left foot to the outside of your right hand, fall in triangle, right arm reaches up and over. Whole left flank of the body lifts to the ceiling. Left side, chest to the sky, breath in. Exhale, right hand down, left foot on top of right side, plank pose. Take your left hand up and overhead, press the hips to the sky. Good. Down level is right knee down, up level is left leg up. Hold there, three. Hold for two. Left hand down, high plank. Exhale, tip it on down. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, roll back over the toes, coming back down dog. Feet to hip width distance apart, and hands walk back towards your feet. Slide your hands underneath the feet, Pada Hastasana. Long spine, inhale, we'll end here with an exhale to fold. Close down the eyes, take a nice three full Udayi breaths. Alright, well done everyone. I'll hand it over to Jack for your writing section.
joining us for day eight. Today for our strength piece, we're gonna do a total body session, um, focusing on a little bit more movement in different planes. So we'll mix some of the basic movement patterns we've been doing with the push-up and the lunging um, and the core work. And we'll do it with a little bit more um, different planes of motion. So we're gonna work in five rounds, only four exercises today. Uh, we're going to do 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest in between. Uh, and we're working on a little bit faster tempo than we have in the last couple of days. So uh, fast on the way down and faster on the way up of each motion. Okay, so a little more dynamic and uh, yeah, nice little simple piece, only four exercises. So what well, the first motion, first, first movement is going to be a push up. If you're standing, drop to your knees. Feet together, um, up on, on the knees if you're doing the full version. Then the elbows come in, and then as you press up, rotate the whole body and look past your fingertips. Come back down into the push up, and rotate around. The next movement's going to be swimmers, so we're lying out front, like we're on a, on a surfboard, feet together, elbows in, and swimming out in front, so working our back extensor muscles here while squeezing my toes together, squeezing my knees together and keeping my glutes on. So I'm working on those upper back muscles. Next one's up into the V sit up, alternating legs. So arms outstretched, I sit up and touch the opposite foot. So we're meeting there. And then we're going into a reverse lunge, so up on the feet. Just one leg to start with, so reverse lunge, then I go into that same leg, forward lunge, come back, change legs. And like so. Okay, so pick your push up motion either on the knees or on the toes. Five rounds, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds rest in between. Here we go. Three, two, one, go for it, guys. Down fast, drive up. Make sure you're looking past those fingertips. Elbows should be in next to the ribs. One more. Belly, getting ready for our swimmers. Point the toes, squeeze the knees together. Three, two, one, glutes on. Stretch the arms out. Keep pointing the toes, squeezing the knees. Fairly engaged. Five seconds. Two, one, very good. Flip over to over onto your back. Arms overhead. Then we're touching the opposite foot. Two, one, and go. Little twist at the top. And time. Up into our feet for our lunges. And we're going to stay with one leg at a time. So reverse lunge first, straight into the forward lunge. Imagine we've got train tracks so we keep our feet at least outside our hips. So we go outside our hip width, come forward, step back, change legs.
20 seconds. One more each side. Very good. Okay, 15 seconds, we're going straight to the second round. Going to those push ups. The aim now every round, we want to try and hit consistency with our intensity. So, same tempo. Here we go. Two, one, go. Two more ups. from the swimmers, point the toes, put the knees together, watch your action lower back with this one, we're trying to tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glutes, arch that upper back. Chest is off the ground. Legs engaged, belly tight, five seconds, two, one, very good, on our back, so last time if you did this and the resting leg was on the ground, try having it in a high hold position so the resting leg is elevated above the ground, two, one, and go. Ten seconds. Last two. Good. Up our feet. Two, one, and reverse lunge. Forward and change. Imagine those train tracks that go wide with your foot position. And time. The work does two rounds down. Seconds going to round three, three or five rounds. Two, one, and go. And a look past the fingertips, keep those elbows close to the ribs. One more rep. Very good. And the rest of the belly. Point the toes, get the knees together. Tuck the tailbone. Two, one, and pass that up back. Let's go into the swimmers. Give all the way through from the toes to the shoulders. Five seconds. Two, one. Very good. Into our sit up. If it was too hard that progression before, then go back to the first stage where you rest, resting legs on the ground and resting arms on the ground. 
two, one, and go. Getting any lower back pain, just do a whole lot of hold where you're holding up the legs up towards the ceiling like that. Five seconds. Last rep. Very good. On the feet. Okay, three, two, one. Step back, step in, and change. Remember those train traps. Foot positions outside our hips. Last rep each side. Intensity that you were at for the first three rounds. Last rep. Tailbone, two, one, and arch that up the back, chest up off the floor. Breathe into your belly. Two, one, and rest. Good. Flip over to the back. Three, two, and one. Last one. Up on the toes. Okay, remember the tram traps. Reverse lunge first. Let's keep it stable once we've got a little bit of fatigue starting to kick in. Just control that first rep. If you're feeling comfortable, go straight into the speed of the movement. If you start to Fatigue a little bit, just slow it down a bit. I want quality of movement above all else. Very good. Last round, guys. Five seconds. Two, one. Five 
pausing. That's right. Point the belly, point the toes, sweep the knees. Excellent postural exercise, this one. If you do it well, so make sure we're focusing on the core, stretching the upper back, not just the lower back. Tension through the glutes. Five seconds. And rest. Flip over. Two, one, and arms up, legs up. Ten seconds. Feet, last exercise. Let's keep that quality of movement as the focus. Stability in the feet and the hips. Three, two, one. Stable. Same as last round. If you're feeling comfortable with the movement, then pick up the pace. Knees should just lightly touch the ground. Oh, 15 minutes done. Well done, guys. A lot of repetition in that in that workout, so good work. Um, hope you enjoyed the workout. Hope you're enjoying the workouts. Good work if you've done eight days in a row. If it's your first day joining us, I'm running a competition at the moment, so selfie at the end of any program so take a selfie after this one and in any social media stream twitter instagram facebook hashtag a selfie with prepare like a pro to enter to win a free online month's training with myself uh, the other thing guys just to mention i've got a youtube channel that i've just launched um, so if you search for jack mclean um, or go to my website prepare like a pro.com it's at the bottom of the of the website just hit the youtube icon uh, and in there I've got plenty of workouts that you can do as well as uh, exercise tutorials to help with your, your technique um, particularly important when we're kind of getting back into the gym in the next couple of weeks um, that's it guys if you, if you like the workout subscribe on my website and I'll send you the link tonight cheers guys